But these are the Japanese characters for the four winds. But like I say, the wind spins them around easily. They got grease zerts in them, you know. Well, this is an example primarily of what I do, large scale sculptures. I probably started uh, my sculpture when I was 55, so do the math, I'm 71 right now. So I haven't been doing it that long, but, but with the background iron work, you know, the work's actually easy for me to do it. The tools I use are basically the same tools I use as an iron work. You know, there's nothing really fancy or you know, everything is kind of brutal, really. Chain falls, hydraulic jacks, come alongs, welding machine, burning outfit, the basics. Actually, well, working in artworks helped me as an iron worker, too. This is probably the largest piece I've done right here. I've only exhibited it uh, probably about three or four times because of the size. The wheels weigh a thousand pounds a piece. A lot of the steel that you see in my yard is probably from 1950. I probably think like this is one of my favorites. And the chains on this thing are all just hanging on there. So if I ever need a chain like it gets stuck in my backyard, I just pull off a couple of links and free myself up. It's a full horse. I'm working on the other half, the hindquarters. This is more or less cutoffs of my artwork that I've already done, but you know, I keep going through the pile until there's nothing. This piece here is actually a tribute to like women in ironwork. And to finish it, I'll cast a couple arms and hands out of concrete that'll be 3D that'll be attached to it. But then I'll sandblast the whole thing and get it down to an even patina and then I'll seal it, put a coating on it and seal it. <laughs> 